ever since I started playing with 3JS, I've always wanted to draw the earth in lines. And it's, it's been difficult. Uh, I haven't had much success until recently when I came across a wonderful code repository. It's an abandoned code repo. It's, it's been disused and archived, but I was able to clone it or fork it rather and update it to work with the new version of the most recent version of 3JS, uh, version 170. And this is what it looks like when you feed it the country's JSON. So I thought it would be fun to walk through how to set this up today, this really cool looking globe, and to tweak it and make it look even better than this. Let's get started. But first, I'd like to talk about my 3JS basics course. It's designed to be short and digestible. Each lesson is between five and 15 minutes long. It teaches you something, hopefully gives you a foundation and allows you to just start using it right away. Check it out. I'd also like to thank Exponent for reaching out to me to make me a brand ambassador. Check them out. Link in the description. Cool, let's start from here. This is the basic template that you can download from GitHub. Link also in the description. Just check the description for all the links. And <clears throat> for this, let's turn off the gradient background and turn the cube into a sphere. Okay. And let's, let's do the edges geometry for this. So edges equals a new edges geometry for that geometry. And then line segments. Yeah, I want that. How's that look? Oh, doesn't look so good. Line basic material. Line mat. Let's do it like that. Hmm. I see. So that's not happening. Let's get rid of that and turn that off for a second. Okay, that's better. Ooh, that's a lot better. Because I'm using these this edges geometry, I get rid of all, let's see, hang on, I'll pass in a threshold too, zero. This is what the wireframe sphere usually looks like. You get all of those, every single tri triangle rendered, but <clears throat> if you just increase this second parameter slightly, you get this instead. I wonder if you increase it to five, what happens then? Same thing. There's a, there is a threshold that if you increase it, oh, this is supposed to be an integer anyway. Um, if you increase it beyond which you just can't see anything like that. Also that. Oh, look at that. Wow. Wow. Look at that. I did not anticipate that. 12. Oh, 12 is too much. 11. 11's pretty good. Anything more than 11 is going to break it though, right? I don't think I can pass it a fractional value. Oh, it's so cool. Look at those lines. Um, the value I'm looking for though is one and that'll just remove the triangles. Great. If you want, you can lighten up that material slightly. We've got, um, we can tell it to be transparent and give it an opacity of uh, 0.4. Yeah, it's a little bit lighter. And we can add stars. Um, import get star field. from my library and then instantiate that below the background, which we're not using const stars equals a new equals get star field and then scene dot add stars. 
we can increase the number of stars slightly. Num stars is 1,000. And I'm not passing in radius. All right. I think a diameter of two would work better for the sphere geometry. Um, radius of two, rather. Yeah, I like that. Now let's draw the countries on there. To use to draw the countries, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to use this library. <clears throat> excuse me, this one, this three GeoJSON. So let's import it. It's included in the project files. I think it's uh, import draw something. I can't remember. Let's have a look. Asset, no, source. Here we go. It's draw three geo. I don't love the name of that method, but what are you going to do? From, it's actually just in here in the source. Let's save it. If it doesn't blow up, then the import was successful. And then let's use it. <clears throat> Along with, let's see, where is, let's define that. I don't need this hemisphere light anymore. Right below the star field, I guess. Let's say, fetch the GeoJSON, the path to the GeoJSON, and then do something with the data afterwards. Yeah, draw three geo. Um, the path is, I think it's in source or no, I can't remember. Let's have a look. Test. No, not test. Just geojson. Slash geojson slash countries. I'm, I'm waiting for it to finish typing for me and it won't. Oh, I need a comma here. Before we draw it, let's just console log it out and see what it looks like. Console log data. And it's successful. Let's check the console. And there's no data there. Why not? Why aren't you showing me any data? Console.log data. Hmm. I, I'm confused why this isn't working. I'm going to compare it to the previous version, which was working fine. It looks like this. Fetch, then response, blah. Okay, let's do that instead. Instead of passing in a callback like this, just fetch like that. And then it, then do something with that response. And then that's, that's all good. That's what I did in the other scene. Let's hold on to that for a second. Just console.log text. Oh, look at all that text. So what happened here? I called the fetch API, and then with the response, I, I called this text method. I don't really know what that does. And then I just logged it out. But instead, I want to parse it, calling json.parse, and then call this draw3geo, which is going to return a group, or an object 3D, one of the two. And I can add that to the scene. Um, here's the data I'm passing in, the radius I want it to be drawn at, and this material option, so color. Let's save it. And there we've got countries. Um, I would love to dig into this 3 GeoJSON. Wait, that's not the one. Is this it? 
Yeah, this one. I would love to dig into here and break down what it's doing, but I'm, I resist the urge to do that because I don't think it's, it's germane to graphics specifically. What do I mean by that? I mean, it's really mostly about parsing the GeoJSON. The, the thing it does is it'll take the GeoJSON and it's going to parse it saying, hey, what kind of object is this? And if so, do, you know, do a different activity, whether it's draw a point, draw a line. And it's going to take, oh, by the way, the GeoJSON is just a bunch of uh, 2D points, right? Uh, latitude and longitude. And so this GeoJSON library is going to make those three-dimensional points that 3JS can use to draw them. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's get out of here. To make this look better, I want to add fog to the scene. Let's see, scene.fog is equal to, it always gives me the one I don't want first, exp2. And let's give it a color and a depth, a threshold, I think it is. And then I need to tell the stars to ignore the fog. Um, I think it's, is it use fog? No, fog. Yeah, fog. It's false. I don't know if that works. No, it doesn't work. Um, okay, let's grab that real quick and put it in the source. Oh, oh good star field's already in there. And now so is the good layer. SRC, SRC, let's update those. Great, let's open it up. Um, Sprite, here, I guess I'm just gonna set it, fog, it's false. And there's my stars, yay. Oh, interesting. The lines are not using the fog. I don't like that. I want them to use the fog. I could see it working on the globe geometry, but not on the lines. So let's see if the lines will listen to me and that when I tell them to, to use the fog. Here's that material. Fingers are crossed. Fog, true. Yay, that worked great. What did I just do? For these, these country lines, I went into its material and told it, uh, I, hey, I want you to use fog. Oh, I love that that works. I love that that works. I wonder if I can tweak that. Um, I think I can. <clears throat> what am I doing? I'm just changing the cameras near and far, hoping that that'll affect the fog. Wow. Some other things I would do to this is try out a texture on the sphere. Let's see how that looks with the lines on top of it. See if they line up. I'm not sure they will, but you could probably make it line up. Uh, another thing to try with colors, like try out some different colors, maybe randomize them. Uh, okay, okay, all right, I'll do, I'll do it right now. Um, let's see. I'm not using any of this dash stuff in this version. Let's get rid of all of that. But this color, I want to set that for every time I draw a line. Every time I draw a line, it's either drawing a country or a piece of a country. Let's see what that looks like. So const color equals a new 
a new three dot color. And then I'm going to set the HSL. Excuse me. Math that random. Uh, now each color, each country will have a random color. Looks colorful and delightful. But let's say we want to limit those hues. Um, hue, let's say either to green. So const hue, use math.random. Um, times 0 0.2. I think the green hue is like around a third. So 0 0.33 plus. We should be all kind of yellowish, greenish. Great. That was successful. Um, I could, if it's, uh, uh, if they're too cyan-y, I can move them, shift them a little bit c south on the hue scale. Oh, it looks cool. Um, I'd like them to be red as well. So I kind of want either or. Uh, so if math.random is greater than 0 0.5, then starting hue should be zero point three. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. Oh, because it's a const. Sorry. Yeah, not that's great. That's great. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, there's some funkiness here. And I think that's because the lines are overlapping. If you know how to easily solve that, I would love to hear about it. But it's drawing the lines redundantly for every country. So every border has two lines, like this border between Mexico and the United States has two. And this border between Canada and the United States also are lines overlapping each other. Yeah, what else? What else to do with this? Any other fun things? Add some interactivity. Oh, that would be so cool. Um, you could try out different GeoJSON. I'm not sure where to get all the GeoJSON data, but I bet a quick search would, would reveal where. Um, yeah. Play with different looks for the globe. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one.